Hi, this is the Science Chef. In this video, I'll be answering the 2023 Wire Chemistry essay paper that was written yesterday. If you'd like to know how you fared in that examination, then follow us through to the end. All right, let's start. Starting with calcium chloride, describe briefly how a solid sample of calcium travel carbon 4 can be prepared in the laboratory, okay? So, questions like this, you just write out the starting material and the end material. Okay. This one is insoluble. This one is what? Soluble. Fine. So, this is double decomposition. Variation of insoluble water source. So, you are going to bring in another soluble compound that contains the travel carbon in four watt radical. In this case, you can use the uh, sodium travel carbon in four or potassium travel carbon in four. So first off, prepare a solution of calcium chloride. Prepare a solution of calcium chloride by dissolving by dissolving the salt in water then to prepare a solution of sodium trouser carbonate 4 by dissolving it it in water by dissolving it in water too then mix the two solutions mix the two aqueous solutions and stir all right then there'll be a formation of what precipitate right so filter off the white precipitate using a filter paper right and then since it's a precipitate it is not soluble right it will be okay to work to rinse Rinse the precipitate with water. Dry in an oven. Okay. The dried white solid, which is a precipitate here. is the calcium trouser carbonate 4. You have to get your full marks here. You must add the episode parts that you use in each step, which is usually your beaker. This occur takes place in your beaker, right? The car is out in your beaker. It's also in your beaker, right? So you can mix inside the beaker inside the beaker, fine. We use your filter paper and your funnel. Filter funnel, right? So that's how to prepare your insoluble what calcium trials of carbonate for in the lab, starting with the calcium chloride. So this is the equation of reaction. Aqueous plus Na2CO3 aqueous, giving us CaCO3 solid plus NaCl aqueous. So this will be two right here and it's balanced. The equation reaction was not needed. I just added that to help you understand better. All right, so that's all for that. So we move with relevant equations, outline the procedure for the purification of uh, impure copper, okay? Procedure for purification of impure copper. What do we do here? This is an application of electrolysis. The impure copper, the impure copper will be the anode. 
well, a, a, a blister or a strip of pure copper will be the cathode. Then the electrolyte. The electrolyte will be the insoluble copper salt, copper two salt, will be uh, let's say CuSO4 aqueous or CuNO3 copper two transmetric five. Anyone? Okay. Then the direct current power supply. So at the anode. At the anode, um, they have equation. Anode copper undergoes what oxidation to form copper two ions, which then goes into the solution and moves to the cathode. At the cathode, what happens? The copper two ions pick up the what in the solution pick up the two electrons that were lost at the anode to become the positive as what copper that is it so what happens the copper atoms copper atoms at the anode are transferred are transferred to the cathode right so the anode the anode decreases in size while the cathode increases in size increases in size so that's that's that and you get your marks Okay, this principle is based on the nature of the word electrodes. How many marks are you looking at there? Seven marks, yes. So one mark for, that will be one mark for the anode, one mark for the cathode, one mark for the electrolyte use, then two, two marks for the have equations that the anode and cathode. That's your seven marks removed. This question says, copper reacts with concentrated trazonitrate 5 acid. Write a balanced chemical equation for the reaction, okay? What's the keyword here? Concentrated travel nitrate 5 acid. Concentrated. Okay. So this will be what? Cu solid plus HNO3. Remember, HNO3 is a strong oxidizing agent. So what will happen? It will oxidize copper 2, copper to copper 2, and itself will be reduced to NO2. A brown gas will be given off them plus what water. Okay, so we have to balance this two two. So you make this two, you make this four, and make this two. It's balanced. So okay, so what we'll observe here this is a brown gas. A brown gas will be given off, and this will be what a blue what solution. A blue solution will be formed, and the reddish brown reddish brown solid disappears right or dissolves these are some of the observations you will make in this word reaction okay let's see let's move on to the next question let's move on to the next question well let me just state what will be observed we have what liberation or effervescence of a brown gas, right? Blue solution, a blue solution is formed. And um, a reddish brown solid disappears. Or dissolves. Already brown solid. That's what copper. 
copper solid disappears or dissolves. Okay. State why the copper is oxidized. Copper is oxidized. Remember, copper changed from Cu to CuNO3 2, right? Which means that copper here moved from CuO0. Well, the relationship state of copper here is 0 to Cu what? 2 plus. So the copper is oxidized. Because, because its oxidation number or its oxidation state increased from zero to plus two. All right. So, next question. I thought an excess of copper is added to 25 cm cube of 16 mole per DMK channel 3. Calculate the volume of the gas formed at STP. So let's divide this. Let's write the equation of reaction again. 16 moles per DM cube of HNO3 is concentrated. So that's 4 HNO3 aqueous. Remember, HNO3 reacts with copper in two different ways. When it is dilute and when it is what concentrated plus 2NO2 gas plus 2H2O liquid fine. So, what are we given? We are given the volume of the acid and the concentration of the acid. We are asked to calculate the volume of the gas at STP. So, first of all, we are going to calculate the number of moles, number of moles of. HNO3 that reacted using what concentration of HNO3 times volume of HNO3 in dm cube. So this would be concentration that's 16 moles per dm cube times 25 over 1000, right? As in dm cube, that's cancel out this 25 cm cube is 25 over 1000. That's 16 times 0 0.025. I'll give it 0 0.4 mole, right? Of HNO3. That's what reacted with the excess copper. Okay, so from here now, we use number of moles of HNO3, ratio of number of moles of HNO3 to number of moles the gas that's NO2 is what 4 ratio what 2 this implies that 2 moles of uh, HNO3 will give us what 1 mole of NO2 what gas therefore 0 0.4 mole of HNO3 will give us what x mole of NO2 right so x here would be 0 0.4 times 1 all over 2 and that would be 0 0.2 mole of NO2 so using number of moles using volumes is also number of moles times molar volume right so the volume of NO2 will be equal to what number of moles of NO2 times 22.4 dm cube that will be 0 0.2 mole 0 0.2 times what 22.4 dm cube per mole so this will cancel out this that will give us um, that's 4.48 dm cube of NO2 gas next question the next question says pure HNO3 is colorless, is a colorless liquid, but when exposed to air, it turns yellowish brown. And could explain briefly its observations. Okay. What happens here is that pure HNO3, when exposed to air or sunlight, decomposes. To form brown nitrogen or oxide as NO2. 
water and oxygen so the brown gas the brown gas then dissolves then dissolve in the water in the water in the solution sorry in the solution to give it what a yellowish to give it a yellowish brown color part of it part of it decomposes not everything part of it decomposes to brown as you can fall outside water and what oxygen in this equation of reaction hno3 giving us what no2 plus o2 plus what h Two oh, to be four, to be two, to be four. Yeah, eight, ten, twelve. Yeah. All right. Next, let's say we are told to write a balance equation for the laboratory preparation of hydrogen twelve ninety five. Hydrogen twelve ninety five or twelve ninety five acid is prepared in the laboratory from the action of the concentrated H two SO four on any twelve ninety five salt. Right. The commonly used ones are sodium twelve ninety five or potassium twelve ninety five. So that would be H two SO four aqueous plus NaNO three solid, giving us what NaH SO four aqueous plus HNO3 gas. Yes, plus HNO3 gas. This HNO3 gas is then passed through a flask on which cold water is pouring on to condense it to HNO3 water liquid.